Hello and welcome back. Uh, I'm up at the storage to do some of those winter jobs. Uh, we have finished our caravanning for this year and it's time to just do a few things in an order for preparation for the winter. Uh, we don't tend to go away over the winter months due to uh, other commitments that we have on. We're both working schools so we're quite busy there and we have quite a lot of family things on over the festive period. There are lots of videos out there on what to do with your caravan over the winter. Uh, I've done one a few years ago, I'll put a link to that up here. So what I'm going to do is just quickly go around the caravan to show you a few things I've done this winter. So what I've done is I've lifted the caravan up onto axle stands. Um, I've done videos on that, again I'll put links into those uh, that I've done in the past. That just ensures that the, the tyres are not holding or bearing the full weight of the caravan while it's sat for quite a while. Um, I'm not taking the wheels off the caravan, I'm going to leave the wheels on the caravan, I don't want to take those off. Uh, if you do uh, think of taking the wheels off, I would check with your insurance, because I know some insurance companies specify that if you're storing your caravan that the wheels must be kept on uh, the actual caravan. Uh, I'm not exactly sure why that is, I think it's due to the fact that uh, you can move the caravan if need to, um, so if anything happens to it you can still move it. So check on that, so if you're putting it on axle stands make sure whether you, you know, check your insurance whether you need to leave the wheels on or off. Also leaving the handbrake off, I've left that off, I always leave that off um, when we're on site so that's remaining off for the winter. So we'll start at the front of the caravan, I've just moved all the cushions so they are up and letting the seating vent so you can see there they're away from the sides so everything can vent through. I've opened all the cabinets at the front so the air can circulate around um, the blinds I will put them half and half like you can see just there into the kitchen area again I've left all the cupboards open um, what we do at the start of the season is all the pots that are in there we take those out and take them home and put them through the dishwasher to make sure they're clean the uh, roof lights will leave the vents open the fridge we leave that propped open this cupboard is usually open but we'll open that as well on this side of the caravan uh, we've taken the co2 and the smoke detector off taking the batteries out in there we'll open the microwave up as well and open the covers at the top i'll open those drawers at the bottom in a second the bed what i do with that is i just kind of prop it open a little bit there's a brush there just so the air can circulate underneath there again in the back of the caravan all the cabinets are left open to let the air circulate in the bathroom the cupboards are left open the drawers left open I leave the blade open on the toilet and just put a little bit of uh, the silicone wipes that I use for the window, just use that around the seal to make sure that stays supple. The bathroom door usually stays open and we see uh, again open the, the wardrobe doors as well so the air just circulates all the way through the van. So I've currently got the heating on, uh, you can do that with Alder heating, you can run it dry, there's no water in the system, uh, in the water system, but obviously there's water in the heating system. I'll come up probably every few weeks and turn the heating on and just let that run, um, but I will be coming up uh, you know, every few weeks just to make sure that everything's okay. And if, uh, what I've also done this year is I've put the caravan, if you can see from this bit of footage, is I've put the caravan on a slight slant so it's leaning backwards, so anything that's on the roof of the caravan can then drain off. So all the cushions and the soft furnishings in the caravan, the pillows at the front and the mattress topper, what I'm going to do is take those home and we have uh, vacuum, those vacuum bags where you can put them in and just suck all the air out. Uh, so they'll be minimalised kind of space that they're going to use and I'll bring them back up here and store them within the caravan over the winter. I'm going to be leaving the battery within the caravan for now but in a few weeks time I'll be taking that home and then just putting that on a trickle charge uh, then we don't ruin the battery. Uh, I am hoping next year to be putting a solar panel on the roof so that should be one to look out for. Um, it's just uh, in order to keep it, you know, the battery just trickle charging over the winter months and I can leave it in over, over the winter rather than keep taking it out. As I said in a previous video, I'm not putting a full cover on and I'm trying it without the dehumidifiers to see how we go on. So that's the caravan ready for winter. I will be calling up, as I said, just to check on everything. Thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.